Another feature that we've introduced in 236.0 is the ability to up uh, specify data read sharing in SQL views. So previous to uh, this update in the 230, uh, uh, sorry, in the 235 release, so pr prior to 236, um, when you're looking at SQL views in the maintenance application, you can update the sharing on those, those views, but you only have the ability to specify uh, metadata sharing on that particular uh, item. So this means that you can grant users access to, to view the, um, uh, view and edit the, uh, um, the view, the SQL view itself. Um, and that is the same thing as granting access to the output of that view through the API. Um, so what we've introduced in 236.0 is the ability to, if I move over here, I'm now looking at SQL view management in 236 and I open the sharing settings. Here I have the ability also to specify separate data access to a particular user or a particular group. So if I want my, my admin user to be able to, uh, my, sorry, I want my admin user to be able to edit and view the metadata and also uh, view the data for this particular SQL view. And I want a part another particular group of users or a, a particular user, let's say, um, so Gita, I want Gita to be able to uh, only view the the metadata and to be able to view the data that comes out of this. So you can then grant access to users in a more fine-grained way to the output of a particular SQL view.